There's a top two in my high school, known as the King and Queen. Good morning, King! Stop calling me that, Momo! But you're the King, right? An accomplished gentleman in both literary and martial arts. Stop mocking me! I'm not mocking you. You're the son of a major pharmaceutical company's president, always top of the class, captain of the kendo club, and you're very handsome. You're a sparkling, kind prince to everyone. If all these traits are combined, of course you'd be called the king. My name is Yuki Minishima, a senior in high school. I'm referred to by the grand nickname of king in this school. Congratulations, and thank you. The fan club has gained more members. Yeah, yeah, I see what this is about. So you were flattering me because of that. This is Momo Fuji, a senior in high school and my friend since middle school. She set up a fan club for me in school and earns pocket money from membership fees and photo sales. That's why she's always trying to flatter me. But the queen's popularity is not to be underestimated. Lately, her membership numbers have been increasing. King, you need to work hard. What exactly am I supposed to work hard on? Tell me. Just being yourself is enough, King. Wait, Momo, are you running fan clubs for both of us and making money? That's unbelievable. Just call me a good businesswoman. Oh, speaking of which... Clear the way, I'm coming through. That's Kanade Jogasaki, the student referred to as the queen in this school. She's the daughter of a large hospital's director, captain of the Naginata Club, and consistently top of the class. She's beautiful, and excels in both literary and martial arts, and she sees me as her rival. Sure, sure, go ahead, go ahead, please, pass. What's with that attitude? Are you letting being called king get to your head? Not at all! I'm embarrassed to be called king. If anyone's letting things get to their head, it's you, Kanade. What? This is a high school hallway! It's not right for you to get special treatment! You're looking down on me because I can never beat you in the tests, right? Because I'm always second. Is that your complex? That's something you can only overcome with effort! Just surpass me already! Ugh, it's so frustrating! Kanade always picks fights with me like this, which is why people say the king and queen can't stand each other. I always end up responding, but honestly, I think it's a waste of time. Hey, Kanade. The reason we're called the King and Queen is mostly due to our parents' achievements, isn't it? Are you happy being praised for that? Are you trying to say I'm somehow less human because of that? Our parents are running hospitals and pharmaceutical companies. They're friends and collaborate on a business level. Shouldn't we try to establish a positive relationship as well? What do you mean by positive relationship? You don't mean... You like me? Huh? Why would I confess my love in this situation? Then what's this positive relationship you're talking about? I want to redirect the energy you spend attacking me towards something more beneficial. I want us, who are ranked first and second in our grade, to team up and accomplish something. So in the end, it's all about our grades. Don't make a big deal out of us being first and second. That's not the point, is it? The time you spend attacking me is a waste! In that case, I'll definitely rank first and show you. Kanade, missing the point, left the conversation. You're still hated by the Queen, aren't you? I don't understand why Kanade is always so confrontational. I just want to be friendly. Isn't getting angry a waste of time? The only person who can't get a smile from the King, known as a paragon of virtue, is the Queen, huh? Such a cats and dogs relationship, lol. Why are you having fun? Ugh, what's his deal? He's always analyzing people so coolly. And it's even more annoying because his reasoning is sound. And that's why our relationship remained parallel. Engaged? Engaged? Father, are you serious? We're known in school as the cats and dogs, you know. Ah, uh, I've heard about that. It's a big problem. Kanade, you know how much we owe to the Minishima family's medicine, right? Personally, I would love for the two of you to get along. I'd like you to officially get engaged on Yuki's birthday next month. In fact, we've just decided to collaborate on the development of a new drug. If our children are rumored to be on bad terms, it will harm our image. That's right. We can't have the bond we've built over many years destroyed by the next generation. Our lifestyle affects stock prices and public opinion. 
That's why we want Yuki and Kanade to get engaged to ensure our long-established bond carries on to the next generation. I hate that idea, especially with him. Besides, my life isn't my father's property. Well, I don't want a loveless marriage either. I see. I had hopes for you to take over the company in the future. What a shame. What? Wait, Wait a, a moment. moment. Are you saying that if I don't accept this engagement, I won't be your successor? I want to take over your pharmaceutical company, Dad. I'll handle running Jogasaki Hospital just fine. So please don't make me get engaged to him unnecessarily. Huh? You're interested in running the hospital? What? Of course. I'm interested in hospital management. It's exciting to make a hospital better with my own abilities. I thought you were a pampered lady who would want to marry a suitable celebrity in the future and live a luxurious life. You seem more like a queen that way. Don't decide my life for me! Come on, Kanade. Yuki is also eager to be a successor. You two would make a powerful couple. What exactly don't you like about Yuki? Is it his personality? From a parent's point of view, he's gentle and mentally stable, and not bad-looking either. Or is there another side to Yuki that I don't know about? Huh? Why do I always pick a fight when I see his face? I don't really have a particular reason. Perhaps I'm annoyed because he's too perfect. Seeing that you can't answer, it seems like there's no big problem. We're all strangers to begin with, so you just need to accept each other's differences. You both want to take over your parents' work, so I think you'll manage well. For now, please get along. If the two top executives don't get along, it can negatively affect the employees underneath them. After all, a company or a hospital runs on the connections between people. So, I talked with Kanade's father, and we would like you two to get along by Yuki's birthday next month. For now, you'll live together. The room is already prepared. What? what? After that, for one month, we live together only on weekends for the future of our parents' company and hospital. So, starting from today, Friday, it's like a weekend marriage. I'm shocked that you started living together without telling me. He's close to Momo, isn't he? Are they in love with each other? If he has someone, he should clearly reject me. Such an indecisive man. Maybe he's planning to have a political marriage with me and make Momo his mistress. Hm. Why wouldn't Momo be shocked? Because both of you have fan clubs filled with serious fans. If you two get engaged, the membership will decrease, won't it? Is that so? Momo, you're always thinking about business. That's just my honest opinion as a businesswoman. To be honest, I think it'll be interesting. Good luck! You're taking this lightly. After school that day, we went back together to a room in the apartment prepared by our parents. On the way home, Kanade seemed to be angry. I guess she really didn't want to live together. Well, what's decided is decided. So, how should we divide up the chores? You can do housework? Well, I can handle basic things. It's a rule in my house to do everything by ourselves. In my house, the maid does everything for us. You don't know how to use a washing machine or a microwave? Yeah. I recall my father saying that Kanade was the only daughter of her elderly parents, and she was raised very preciously. So, you've never held a knife before? Holding a blade is dangerous. My parents never let me. Then I'll teach you. Let's get started with dinner preparation right away. You'll pick it up quickly. Really? Yuki never denies me. He always treats me kindly. He even gets good grades. I can't compete with him. You're quite experienced. Well, I've practiced a lot. I can even prepare fish. Who taught you? Somebody from the other side of my smartphone. I learn by watching videos. And being able to prepare fish broadens your cooking range. It's fun when you can do more. Kanade, can you peel the carrots with this peeler? A peeler? Hey, where does the skin end? Oh no! You've peeled it too much! I see, you don't know where the skin ends. My explanation was insufficient! Well, we struggled a bit, but we managed to make dinner. Cooking is tough. I've always been the one eating. It's because it's your first time, right? In home economics cooking class, it didn't help. With practice, you'll get the hang of it. I see. I have nothing to say. And then, at night... Oh my gosh! Wh what happened 
Ugh, did you put too much detergent in the laundry? What should I do? No, it's okay. I'll look it up myself. I'll help. We need to finish quickly, or it will affect tomorrow. It's okay. It's not a big mistake. So it was a mistake. It can't be helped. It's your first time doing housework. Kanade tried to handle everything by herself on the first day, but after every mistake I followed up, she eventually became quiet. Kanade may seem full of pride, but she does seem to feel sorry. The following morning was Saturday, and school was off. We were tired, so we just had bread and milk for breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm sorry for causing so much trouble yesterday. I'll try not to cause any more trouble. So please, teach me how to do housework. Kanade. Second day of living together, the queen bowed to me. I was honestly surprised. Ugh, you surprised me. I thought you'd command me to do everything because you couldn't do it yourself. I'm not that low. How rude! <laughs> it's okay. Let's do it together since I'll teach you. I'm looking forward to it. I always thought you were a genius who can do anything, but now I realize it's all due to your aspiration and hard work. I realize this just by spending a day with you. I've understood for a long time that I still lack effort. I've been envious of you, who seems to be able to do anything, and I've been confrontational. I still have a lot to learn. But it's actually fun to do things together with someone. I've always been on the receiving end, so this is a new discovery for me. You've really mellowed out. What happened? Well, we're going to be together every weekend from now on, right? Why not make it fun and pleasant? Hmm. So you actually have a nice personality, Kanade. You're only realizing this now? Well, you're not the most forthright person. So you're planning to take over your father's company, too? Yeah, I really respect my dad. I also respect my father very much. I want to become a doctor like him, expand the scale at the hospital, improve the quality of doctors and nurses. I have so many things I want to do, and that's why I'm studying so hard. She has this kind of expression, huh? Sounds like a lot of work, being both a manager and a doctor. Well, keep up the good work. Uh, um, I've never been touched by a man before. Don't get carried away. S sorry I, I didn't mean anything by it. I just, I often do it to my little sister. I see. I'm an only child, so I was surprised. Hey, what are we having for dinner today? Let's see. We're having leftover curry for lunch, so for dinner... I want to try peeling vegetables again. In that case, how about meat and potatoes? The ingredients are the same as yesterday's, just with a different flavor. Today it's potatoes, meat and potatoes. She's kinda cute, isn't she? And so, our first weekend together went by rather uneventfully, and it was Monday before we knew it. And you two seem to be getting along quite well, actually. So it seems. This is really going to turn into an engagement. Should I consider disbanding the fan club? I'm not sure, but I guess. I'm sorry if that's the case. You have nothing to apologize for, Yuki. Thanks for the good times and the earnings from the fan club. <sighs> He's getting along with Momo again. I'm the one engaged to him, even if it isn't official yet. Yuki, I'm counting on you for this weekend, too. <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. I won't lose. Huh? Is she seeing me as a rival? The queen is so cute. Why did she say that? And why in school, of all places? This seems rather new. See you later, then. Huh? Later? Why all of a sudden? Hmm. Looks like I might really need to find another source of income. From then on, I spent my weekends with Kanade, and our cohabitation went rather smoothly. And then, my birthday came around. Happy birthday, Yuki! You've turned 18, a proper adult. It's a touching moment. So, have you become friendly with Kanade? Yeah, we're working together on our living arrangement. I've learned that Yuki is a hardworking and wonderful person. I respect him now. Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. So, about the engagement... Uh, that was a lie to get the two of you to get along. Don't worry about it. What? what?! 
As I mentioned before, our families have deep business connections. Even if you were both to take over your respective businesses, any animosity between you would harm our professional relationship. That's why we came up with this drastic measure to improve things. What? A lie? That's cruel! I can't believe it! Kanade stormed out of the room, so I went after her. Kanade! Why are you crying? Because... aren't you upset? That you can't marry me? Huh? I don't want this! I like you so much! Wait, you like me? Or do you like Momo? Do you want to marry her? Why are you bringing up Momo all of a sudden? Because you're always together and you seem to have a good time talking. You like her, don't you? We are not always together, and I only talk to her a lot because I went to middle school with her. I have no romantic feelings for her. Honestly, you're such a troublesome queen. To tell you the truth, I've started to like the recent you. But getting engaged is a big step. I think it's okay to date for a while and then think about it. So, you like me? Didn't I just say I want to date slowly? Say you like me. I want to nurture my feelings slowly, because I don't want to be tired of... I'm also insecure. If I say I like you, the day might come when you say you hate me, right? Uh, you're thinking about such things? I won't say I hate you. Then show me proof. Kiss me! Okay. It seems like we'll continue to sway each other and be swayed by each other. And so, I pulled her towards me.